It's my feel good breakfast show. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, x and we're live on three. Now, we said we'll be talking decor this morning, and I'm totally excited because there's upcycling, recycling, and all kinds of things. But one of my favorite things is a fresh new starter, not just for you, but also the space that you're living in. This morning, we've got Gharmarie Bruve. I actually know Gharmarie from school. She was from the before. Uh, and Margot Tate in our studio, they've got a new book, Innovators, and they are here making sure that we're using, well, not hurting our pocket, the most cost-effective way to transform an everyday living space. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. It is exciting. You brought out this new book. So, Gharmari and Margot, your book, Make Your Home, 75 Decor and Lifestyle Projects. It focuses on trends. It focuses on upcycling. Talking everyday items and also things with a new twist, what is your specific focus on trends and also uh, repositioning, basically, when it comes to, well, your home? Well, South Africans are very nostalgic. We know that. We all have heirlooms and, you know, that stulky from Oma yeah. and all things that needs to fit into the scheme. So why not repurpose it? Why not give it a new flavour with a nivellapi? You know, that's what we're aiming for, to inspire people to look at things differently and in a cost-effective way. Cost-effective is very important for us. So um, instead of buying something new, why not just, yeah, like Margot said, look at it in a different way and see what you can do with it. And that's where the book comes in. We really want to inspire people to take what they have and do something new with it. Now, why 75 upcycling projects for a new book? I mean, why not 10 or 20? Did, uh, is, it a, is there a specific reason why you called it that? I mean, is, is, it, is it the way to move forward? Is it an advanced thing to do 75? I don't know. Yes, yes, okay. definitely. De definitely. 75. 75 is the number for the year. <laughs> <laughs> Going ahead. Yeah. You know, if the publisher lets us, we would have done 175. Oh, bless. We wanted to cover an entire spectrum and have something for absolutely everybody. We started with 30 and then we just kept adding to it, saying, oh, this has to be and this has to be in and we ended up with 75 it's a it's a it's a good number we feel it's yeah. a nice bulky book i enjoy the books that show us cost effective ways of making things i mean here i have make your home 75 day i've got the book right here i love the fact that it's cost effective uh, one of the things i need to know is if you want to decorate on a budget i mean this is probably the way to go four tips for everyone that's watching today how can we reposition remodel bring beautiful decor into our home what's the four tips you would give someone who's trying to achieve this at home yeah, definitely. Um, economics shouldn't be something to, to hinder you when you want to have a beautiful home. I mean, we all want to have a beautiful home and, you know, times are tough. So <laughs> take what you have, relook at it and see if there is something else you can do with it. If you have a beautiful chair or if you have a beautiful ottoman, see if you can just, you know, put a new fabric on it and, and it'll be a complete new piece of furniture. But apart from that, I think you should also look at things, maybe you want to sell off old stuff. Mm. You look at your old things in a new way, and then the things that you just can't live with anymore. Sell them off, get a bit of cash, and buy fabric and, and do something Absolutely. with it. Absolutely, don't hold on to things. You know, if, uh, nostalgia let is one go. thing, but <laughs> let it go and declutter your life. And if something is in your house and you don't want it there anymore, sell it, use the money, buy something that you like. So see, Harmari, make your home. The 75 Day Coin Lifestyle Projects is one way to reinvent write the book but you just said a word that is my motto for 2016 declutter okay oh my goodness yes. absolutely it, it clears your headspace it clears your home it's such an important thing to do and not enough people do it I think mm. what is a must-have trends or decor project we should have or that we should be seeing in our home so let's say you've now decluttered and there's the one thing that you definitely want to have in the home what should it be I think um, the, the one thing that we're focusing on this year definitely Trends is big and, uh, you know, storage. Storage is very important. But I think the most important thing is have your own style. You know, there's no right or wrong mm. when it comes to decor. You have to live in your home. If you love that thing that everybody else thinks is hideous, that's okay. It's yours. Yeah. And if there's one thing, if I could say one <laughs> thing. Just that one. That, just that one expensive thing. An origami-shaped lamp. An origami. Origami is big in lighting this year. We're seeing it everywhere. It's, it's actually a spillover from last year, but it's gorgeous and you have to have. Have to have. Have to have. Listen, ladies, you inspired me. I love the book. I totally do. Now, you can win a copy of Make Your Home 75 Decor and Lifestyle Projects. All you need to do is to SMS win your name and your city to 33728. Those SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. And also, our competition closes on the 21st of January. That's uh, at 8.30. T's and C's apply. And uh, you can also find that T's and C's on expressoshow.com. That is our website. Harmony Margot, Ali Bessavani, 
nieuwe jaar. Ek gaan definitief die klatter en seker maak ek gebruik jylle boek. Uh, again, you can win a copy. Make your home. So, uh, make your home. 75 decor and lifestyle projects. This is your feel-good breakfast show. Katlego, what's coming up?